Hello, I'm Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements 15, as well as Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are in part seven of our eight-part series. Now, we've looked at a lot of ways to edit video and to add effects and add transitions to it. Now it's time to add some titles to our video. To add a title, very, very simple. I'm just going to position the CTI or the playhead back here toward the beginning of my movie where I'm going to add my title. You can add the titles in quick view as well as expert view. If you want to add just a basic generic title, just go up here to the text menu at the top of the screen and select new text. And you can have either default text, or default rolling text, which is from the bottom of your screen up, or default crawling text, which means it moves left or right across your screen. But there are also some really cool title templates. You'll find those by selecting this little T on the toolbar. There are two sets of titles here, or two categories of titles. There are motion titles, which are relatively new. I think they were added in version 14. These are very cool titles. And I do a specific tutorial on working with these titles on moviepix.com. I think it's a free tutorial, you should check it out. We're just gonna work with classic titles just because we want to get the basics down now. And you notice that classic titles come in a variety of categories, general entertainment, HD templates, slideshow. We're just gonna select general. And you notice for the most part in each of these categories, whether it's default or aquarium or fun or ladybug picnic, that they have usually three different types of titles available in each of these categories. Uh, there's a default text, which now let's go to one that has a template here. Default text, which is just basic, you know, your, your basic standard text. And sometimes uh, if you choose a category, for instance, comic book here, you can see that it has a whole background with it. But this is your basic title. We also have something called a lower third. Lower thirds, as just as it sounds, would go in the lower third of the video frame. Usually use that to identify a scene or to identify the person who happens to be on screen. And then there are also rolling titles, and those, as you might expect, are templates for titles that would be like at the end of your movie that roll up your screen. So let's go ahead and select one. We'll go over here and select, for instance, the main title here for Aquarium. We'll drag it to our timeline where we'd like it to appear. Now, you notice it's downloading the title, and I'll tell you why that is. A number of these title templates, we'll come over to adjustments here in just a moment. A number of these title templates, you'll notice, have a little blue flag over the upper right-hand corner. You're gonna see this throughout the program for not just title templates, but also DVD and Blu-ray disc templates. You're also going to see these on some instant movie templates. This just simply means that the template is not yet on your computer. It's available, and the very first time you use it, it's going to download automatically from the Adobe site onto your computer, and then you'll have it forever more. But for now, it's not on your computer yet. You can either download them as you use them, or if you'd like, just right-click and select Download All, and it will get the whole package for you. In any event, here it is. Here's our title, and I'm going to select it on the timeline, and I'm going to go to Select Adjustments. This happens automatically when you first add a title to the timeline. It opens up in the Adjustments panel, but you can also manually open it up at any time by simply selecting the title and then going over here to the Adjustments button. And here we have a number of options. So we can, of course, select our title text and write over it. Uh, once we've done that, we can select the text and we can change its font can change its color, you can change its alignment, whether it's center aligned up and down, center aligned right to left. If we'd like to move its position or change its position here on the template, we can select the little arrow, that's the selection tool, and drag it to wherever we'd like it to be. So you can make a lot of adjustments. There are also some really cool things you can do. You can select a text style. So for instance, we can click on any one of these and it will change the entire font and look and it will add sometimes drop shadows or extrusions or highlights around the text. We can add animation to the text. I do show you how to do this in the book too. These are very cool. These will affect how the text appears on your screen. You know, does it just appear or does it come in one letter at a time, one word at a time? Some very cool preset animations available for you there. And if you'd like, you can even draw some additional shapes onto the template. So for instance, if I select this little rectangle, I can draw a rectangle and I can select with that rectangle uh, what color it is. I can even right click on it here and select a range to put it behind my text. Uh, I put it all the way behind the background here, so I need to move the background back a layer. Right click on that, select range and send that to back. 
there we go and there is the object I drew on here so a lot of customization you can do and we show you how to do all of that in the books and of course on our tutorials at moviepix.com these titles of course you have the same options as you do with the videos themselves so in other words once I come out of the adjustments area just by clicking on the adjustments button coming down here to the timeline I can right click on this and I can add a fade in or out or both on the title and now instead of my title just popping in it will slowly fade in as I play my movie so the same sort of transitions and effects that you add to the video can be added to your titles a lot of cool stuff to find out about this program a lot of great options with your titles both these standard titles and the motion titles if you want to know more about how to use these you want to check out all the tips and tutorials at movie picks and if you want to know everything about everything in this program the moviepicks.com guides are your invaluable resource. They're available on Amazon.com. Come back for part eight. We're going to show you how to output this finished movie. I'm Steve Grusetti. Thanks for joining me.